Otago Polytechnic is a public New Zealand tertiary education institute, centred in Dunedin with additional campuses in Cromwell and Auckland. Otago Polytechnic provides career-focused education and training, offering a range of New Zealand-accredited postgraduate qualifications, degrees, diplomas and certificates at levels 2–10. History Otago Polytechnic traces its ancestry back to the Dunedin Technical School, which was established in 1889 to provide evening classes for working people. In 1909 it expanded to offer day classes for secondary school pupils. In 1914, the name was changed to the King Edward Technical College. In 1921, the college took over the Dunedin School of Art, which was New Zealand's first art school established in 1870. The college expanded further by taking on the evening and daytime education of apprentices, technicians, and professionals. In 1966 the college was split into a secondary school later renamed Logan Park High School and Otago Polytechnic, which opened on 1 February 1966. <laughs> <laughs> Locations Otago Polytechnic is spread over a large geographical area with campuses in Dunedin and central Otago, as well as a campus for international students in Auckland. The Polytechnic also carries out distance-based learning in areas ranging from veterinary nursing to midwifery, work-based learning for mature students through Capable NZ and an online micro-credentialing service called Edubits. <laughs> Dunedin campuses The Dunedin campus is situated on 4th Street, Union Street, Riego Street and Anzac Avenue in Dunedin North, and Cumberland Street in central Dunedin. The 4th Street campus buildings are situated between University of Otago campus and the Forsyth Bar Stadium, close to the edge of Logan Park. The schools of architecture, building and engineering and natural sciences are located on the old Rehabilitation League site on Anzac Avenue, and the prestigious Dunedin School of Art is located on Riego Street. Otago Polytechnic's library is the Robertson Library on Union Street, which it shares with the University of Otago College of Education. In 2009, Otago Polytechnic vacated buildings in Tennyson Street, close to Stewart Street in the central city. These buildings had previously housed the School of Hospitality, Languages and Fashion, and are owned by the Ministry of Education. In 2014, a $12 million redevelopment of Otago Polytechnic's F and H blocks began to transform the space into a contemporary learning environment and hub. Mason and Wales were the architects for this project. In 2016, Aoraki Polytechnic merged with Christchurch Polytechnic Institute of Technology to form ERA Institute of Canterbury, and Otago Polytechnic took over the teaching of Aoraki's Dunedin-based programs. These included beauty therapy, hairdressing, early childhood education, journalism, photography, and film and television. Technique Training Restaurant is located on Harbour Terrace and is an initiative established by Otago Polytechnic School of Hospitality and its Food Design Institute, training future chefs, hotel managers, and restaurant staff under the guidance of industry professionals. 
The restaurant uses produce from local suppliers and Otago Polytechnic's living campus gardens. The restaurant offers lunchtime and evening dining to members of the public and hosts a wide range of themed events throughout the year, including midwinter Christmas dining. There is also a community learning center in Mosgiel which delivers free and inexpensive computer training to the public, as well as holding short computing courses. Central Otago campus Otago Polytechnic's Central Otago campus is located in Cromwell on the corner of Molyneux Avenue and Aris Street, with additional facilities at Bannockburn Road. Plans are underway to consolidate these sites at the Bannockburn Road block. Programs on offer include long and short courses in cookery, business, and horticulture. Qualifications in ski and snowboard instruction and avalanche safety are delivered from Cadrona Alpine Resort and Mount Aspiring College. Otago Polytechnic Central Campus launched a qualification in high country farming in 2014, which is the only one of its kind in New Zealand. There are two community learning centres which hold computing courses as well as being able to provide career guidance and study assistance for Otago Polytechnic students, these are on the Central Otago campus and in Queenstown. In 2009, the two community learning centers in Wanaka and Alexandra were closed. Topic: <laughs> Auckland International Campus. The Auckland International Campus caters to international students and offers professional qualifications in business and management as well as national diplomas in construction management and quantity surveying. Classes are taught in English. The Auckland International Campus is located on Queen Street in downtown Auckland. Auckland is the largest city in New Zealand with about 1.4 million people. It is New Zealand's biggest centre of business and industry and is popularly known as the City of Sales because the harbour is often dotted with hundreds of yachts. Auckland has been rated the third best city in the world, and the best city in Asia and the Pacific for quality of life. Topic: Business Excellence. In 2018, Otago Polytechnic was the first organization in New Zealand to be recognised for organisational excellence with a prestigious Performance Excellence Study Award (PESA). Affiliated to the United States Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award, the PESA is administered by Business Excellence NZ and involves rigorous examination by United States-based examiners against seven core Baldridge Performance Excellence criteria. Key performance indicators and highlights noted by the examiners, included Otago Polytechnic's strong organizational vision and culture of excellence High levels of student satisfaction and employer satisfaction with Otago Polytechnic graduates High levels of workforce engagement and staff satisfaction Excellent educational performance indicators course completions, student progression, qualifications and course retention Sound financial performance and growth in student enrollments High number of Ako Aotearoa Tertiary Teaching Excellence Awards Organizational agility and leading edge innovation through a diverse provision of educational experiences.
Topic student accommodation In 2018, Otago Polytechnic officially opened its new 231-bed student accommodation complex, Te Pa Taura, Otago Polytechnic Student Village, at its Dunedin campus. It features dorm rooms, studios and apartments. The $22 million building, designed by Mason and Wales Architects, is the largest timber-framed construction in New Zealand at 6000 square meters. The sustainable cross-laminated timber structure won two awards at the Property Council New Zealand Ryder Levitt Bucknall Property Industry Awards 2018, Award of Excellence for Green Building and an Award of Merit for Multi-Unit Residential Property. At its Central Otago campus in the same year, the Polytechnic opened its $3 million, 25-bed student housing complex of fully self-contained units. International students Otago Polytechnic offers education and training to both New Zealand and international students. In 2017, Otago Polytechnic had 1252 equivalent full-time international students EFTS. Otago Polytechnic's English Language Centre offers academic and general English courses, aimed at international students, or migrants to Dunedin. Otago Polytechnic Central Otago and Auckland International campuses also offer English language courses. Topic: <laughs> Research and Enterprise. Otago Polytechnic's Research and Enterprise Service Area conducts research through its four centers of research expertise, innovation, sustainability, health and well-being, and business improvement. Its epicenter is a multidisciplinary workshop studio, available to staff and students as a research facility. It is equipped with a range of technical machinery and tools, and is particularly relevant for researchers in the disciplines of art, design, information technology and engineering. <laughs> Student exchange programs and international partnerships Otago Polytechnic offers a range of student exchange programs, available to Otago Polytechnic and international students through its study abroad and explore more initiatives. International programs include English language teaching internships, summer school scholarship programs, winter school scholarship programs, and partnerships with tertiary institutions in North America, South America, Europe and Asia. Otago Polytechnic also runs an education scholarship program with its sister city, Shanghai. Topic. Staff at Otago Polytechnic Otago Polytechnic has a workforce totaling 543 permanent staff as at the end of 2017. Its pay equity gap in 2017 Saturday at 4.8%, considerably lower than the national average of 11%. All Otago Polytechnic staff are required to undergo up-to-date training on New Zealand's Treaty of Waitangi. Since 2007, 20 Otago Polytechnic academic staff members have won Ako National Tertiary Teaching Excellence Awards, and in 2014, five academic staff from the School of Hospitality's Bachelor of Culinary Arts program together won the National Team Teaching Award. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Sustainability Living Campus. Otago Polytechnic has a sustainable campus. During the past three years, Otago Polytechnic has steadily increased the amount of cardboard, glass and plastic they recycle. Otago Polytechnic now recycles the following materials, paper, cardboard, glass, aluminium and steel cans, plastic types 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, cooking oil and organic waste. The Polytechnic has also managed to reduce its amount of general waste by over 200 cubic meters. Since 2012, Otago Polytechnic has implemented some significant changes to reduce its ecological footprint, including creating an internal offset scheme for staff air travel. Otago Polytechnic also recently replaced coal-fired boilers with local woodchip boilers. As well as utilizing a renewable energy resource, the potash will be used on the Living Campus Gardens. The Living Campus project is the first of its kind in Australasia and involves turning Otago Polytechnic's existing Dunedin campus into an open-air and interactive museum, a vibrant community garden and a sustainable model of urban agriculture. In 2015, Otago Polytechnic became the first polytechnic in New Zealand to achieve fair trade status. The institution has been awarded the fair trade status in recognition of its commitment to sell only fair trade products such as tea, coffee, sugar and chocolate drinks in its cafes and other commercial outlets, and sourcing fair trade materials for its schools where appropriate. This is in line with the City of Dunedin's stance towards fair trade practice. Dunedin was formally recognised by the Fair Trade Association as New Zealand's first free trade city in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Partnership with Kai Tahu In 2004, Otago Polytechnic signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the four Aretaru Papatipu Runaka, or local Maori councils, Te Runanga o Moraki, Kati Huirapa Runaka Ki Puketaraki, Te Runangao Otakou, and Hokonui Runanga. It was reviewed, revised and resigned by all parties in 2013. The memorandum guides the Polytechnic's goals and activities, underpinning its Maori strategic framework. The MOS principal objectives are to support and contribute to the achievement of Maori development aspirations, and work together to identify specific educational needs of Kai Tahu. The Charity House Project Otago Polytechnic's Charity House Project is a yearly initiative involving the Polytechnic's architecture, building and engineering students. It has been running since 2007, and has raised in excess of $1 million for charity, with the help of over 20 local businesses that donate time, materials and craftsmanship. At the end of the year, the house is auctioned off. The proceeds go to United Way NZ, a non-profit organization which distributes the funds to Otago Charities. Rainbow Tick In 2017, Otago Polytechnic became the first polytechnic or institute of technology in New Zealand to gain the Rainbow Tick, which recognises employers who offer safe, fair and inclusive workplaces for all staff irrespective of their sexual orientation or gender identity. 
The award criteria include having strategies and policies that specifically mention inclusion, reporting on inclusion at all levels and offering training to staff. Topic: Student Services. Otago Polytechnic offers a range of student services, both itself and in conjunction with University of Otago and Otago Polytechnic Students Association. These include internal services such as a child care center, student learning center, student health center, student IT services and Te Punaka Ofeo, its dedicated Maori center. In partnership with Otago University, Polytechnic students have access to UNIPOL Recreation Center and the Robertson Library. All enrolled Otago Polytechnic students may consider themselves members of the Otago Polytechnic Students Association, an independent organization run by the students and offers support, social events and clubs, access to facilities and services, and the free student magazine, Euro. Topic Students Association Otago Polytechnic Students Association OPSA is the independent student association at Otago Polytechnic which provides access to many facilities and services like the student ID card clubs and societies center, a second-hand bookshop, UNIPOL sports center, a free student newspaper Euro, free pool tables, free campus telephones, the student discount directory, social events, and student job search. OPSA also provides support services like advocacy, campaigns, representation, financial assistance and advice. OPSA is often involved with local authorities representing a student view, especially in transportation and housing issues. OPSA also advocates everyone's right to tertiary education, and that user pays education creates a significant barrier to this right. OPSA seeks a return to free tertiary education as it was before 1989 in 2008 and 2009 OPSA took the unusual move of expelling its members involved in illegal violence at the UNDI 500. In 2009 OPSA campaigned against the government's removal of student representation from polytechnic councils. <laughs> 